Okay, so basically this tutorial is about exporting from uh, Blender to After Effects, and I don't mean exporting the render, which I guess I'll go over, but um, also exporting basically the data. So when you export, you'll be exporting your camera, and you'll be exporting your object. And basically, when they go into After Effects, it will be um, the you won't actually have the cube, but you'll have a null that represents it, and you can parent things to that. And you will have the same exact camera. So uh, basically, all you have to do is go to User Preferences and make sure Adobe After Effects JSK JSX is checked on just go and import and you'll find it there or just search it and uh, then save the user settings and go here and then select the items you want to uh, export if you want to export your light um, that's fine I'm not going to do that I don't really need to and uh, export and just press that and just save it to wherever you want I'm going to do that later um, I mean, I, I already did it, so, and so, uh, uh, just export it, normal settings, quick time, since it's just an animation, or you could just do regular PNG, RGBA, because you want transparency, or maybe you don't, I don't know, and then PNG if you want the transparency, and, uh, I'm just going to leave it at 50%, save it wherever you want, um, and then render it out, and I'll see you back in After Effects. Okay, we're in After Effects, and so I'm just gonna import the script. So, uh, scripts, run script, run script file, and it's okay, and uh, just go and uh, I named it cube. Okay. Double click on the comp and then it will pop up. And see that null? And then there's also a camera right here. And now I'm just going to import the um, actual footage. Okay, so. That's not it. Yes, it is. One second. Okay, and this part, it's a preference. Okay, so as you can see, the null follows the cube exactly, uh, kind of. It's just a little bit, I have to scale up the. Uh, Actual footage because remember I had it at a at a lower resolution. See, it follows and the camera. So if I were to put something in there, which you can't really tell how the camera is rotating, but um, just to give you like kind of a uh, example, um, see the camera's moving a lot. So if I just put just put the uh, like a, um, a solid in there make it black uh, make it a uh, 3d by just clicking this I'm gonna scale it down a bit. so then wherever the camera goes, as you can see, it's actually staying the same place in 3D space, it's just the camera's moving so much that you can't really notice that. And then also I can parent whatever I want to the null object. So if I wanted to parent the, uh, the solid, I just have to, um, right here. So now it follows exactly. Alright, thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, if you have any requests, just leave it in the comments, and um, I'll get to that.